What the speakers will be talking about today when they talk about exports, foreign direct investment, global networks, is helping the metro Atlanta region and our state grow its economy. Because when we grow our economies, we create jobs. These are the issues that we at J.P. Morgan think about every day. As a public resource for economic development and job growth diminish, we believe in the private sector we have a responsibility to do our part and help position U.S. cities to deal with the opportunities and challenges that come with globalization and urbanization. We are very bullish on our cities and metropolitan regions as centers for economic growth and prosperity. This is reflected in our company's own plans for the region, where we now employ 1,200 employees, we have opened 78 branches, we've invested more than a million dollars towards Georgia nonprofits, and we've extended over $133 million in credit to small businesses last year alone. We are committed to our community's success, not only now, but in the long run, which means addressing the long-range issues like those we will discuss here this afternoon. I appreciate that so many of you are interested in advancing the dialogue about global engagement and economic competitiveness for our region, and I look forward to today's conversation being the start of more actions to come. Now, I just have to tell a quick story because this is very telling here. I sat next to the mayor and I pointed out to the fact that my font on my comments was twice the size of his. Uh, with that, I, would, I have the great honor to introduce the mayor of this great city of Atlanta, Kasim Reed. Well, I appreciate the heads up, David, on what size my font would need to be in the future. <laughs> so I think I'm going to go ahead and start making that change right now. <laughs> David, thank you so much um, for the introduction, but also thank you for deciding to lead this effort. And also thank you for asking such a distinguished uh, gentleman to serve as the chair in the form of Mayor William Daly. Please give it up for Mayor Daly. We are so <laughs> glad that he is here. I also want to thank uh, the folks at the Brookings Institution who will be partnering with J.P. Morgan Chase on this effort that is really vital for all of us. I want to welcome the Under Secretary of Commerce. He was at dinner with us last night, Francisco Sanchez. Please give it up for the Under Secretary <laughs> Sanchez. Atlanta's position within the world economy is becoming stronger and stronger every day. Our region has many assets. We have the third largest concentration of Fortune 500 businesses in the U.S. We have the most successful passenger airport on the planet. It has been number one in the number of passengers handled for 15 years in a row. We have in the city of Savannah, at the Savannah Seaport, the fastest growing seaport on the eastern seaboard and one of the four most successful ports in the United States. We have an engaged consular corps hosting more than 60 consulates in the city of Atlanta. So I really do believe that in the form of the major businesses that are a part of our community, such as UPS, which is a significant sponsor of this effort, Coca-Cola, which is in more than 200 countries around the world, you name the business, and Atlanta has the ability to conduct global business around the world. Delta Airlines is another example. What this conversation about is at that next level. What Bruce Katz is gonna lead a conversation about is how do we help our small and our medium-sized businesses become global businesses and connect with cities around the world. I'm here to tell you, ladies and gentlemen, uh, I am an unabashed supporter of cities, a fan of cities. And I love being a mayor because mayors get things done. And we're moving into a time and space around the world where mayors and major cities around the world are going to drive the global economy because we're able to make decisions faster. We listen to people. We're right here on the ground. And our actions increasingly are going to have real consequences for the global economy and global GDP. 
In the U.S., as we sit here right now, major American cities are responsible for 70% of our nation's GDP. And that is the trend that is emerging across the globe. So I think that this is an appropriate conversation to start right here in Atlanta. And just think of your own lives right here, right now, today. Uh, when you talk about moving around the planet now, um, you don't say I'm headed to Russia. You say that I'm headed to Moscow. You don't say I'm going to the UK. You say I'm going to London. You don't say I'm going to France. You say I'm going to Paris. If you're going to Rio or Brazil, you're going to Sao Paulo. The point I'm making is, is that we are going to have an increasing connectivity with other cities. And that's why I'm so pleased that we retooled Invest Atlanta with not just an emphasis on our local businesses, but with an emphasis on global connectivity. Last year, we took a trade group uh, to China, visited five cities in 10 days, had multiple meetups, and came away with about $75 million in new opportunities, not for the Coca-Colas or the UPSs or the Deltas of the world, but for small and medium-sized businesses. Ladies and gentlemen, we know that the future of job growth and sustainable job growth in the U.S. is with small and medium-sized businesses. Fortunately, J.P. Morgan Chase has had the vision to make the decision to invest in helping those businesses get stronger right here and right now ahead of the curve. And I'm pleased that we have, in the form of Bruce Katz, someone who has been studying this issue and has been on the bleeding edge of looking at this issue for many years. So the city of Atlanta is the beginning of this conversation. And from where we are today, we will go on to other cities. And we really couldn't have a more capable person to lead this effort than the gentleman I'm getting ready to introduce to you, Bruce Katz with the Brookings Institution. Bruce, thank you so much.